What is up guys? This is Brandon for the Wiser Economizer. I'm doing a little bit of sanding on my deck and I was using this palm sander. Show it to you real quick. Right here, I burned through two sheets of paper on the material that I was trying to sand off within minutes and I realized I was going about it the wrong way. So I went and picked up this belt sander from Harbor Freight. Now they had two different kinds in stock. This was the uh, more inexpensive one. It's part number 69859. And the reason why I bought this one is it runs at a slightly higher RPM than the other one. This one's somewhere around 1200 RPMs. The other one was, uh, I think it was like 10, 1065. Now the more expensive one did have a speed dial on it, which if you're doing trying to do precise work, I guess that may be a little more desirable. I've had pretty good luck with the Chicago electric stuff, especially if it's something I'm gonna just use once in a while. So that's why I was all right with going with the more inexpensive uh, belt sander such as this. I was comparing it to like the Hyper Tough from Walmart, but that's a 18 inch belt. This is a 21. So I ended up going with this guy here. Full retail is $34.99, so basically 35 bucks. I didn't have a coupon today on me because I ran out of here in a rush, but the clerk there was cool enough to hook me up, so I got a 20% off coupon from that. So I ended up paying $27.99 for that particular item. Got some nice 36 grit here. That should take off the paint material that I'm I'm trying to take off the deck. It's actually Rust-Oleum 10X. It's about five years old. I'm trying to remove that. And then I got some 80 grit too. I'll start with the 80 grit. If that doesn't do well, then I'll, I'll move to the heavier stuff. But this is more so about the belt sander than the project I'm doing. I will I will show you a little clip of what I'm doing. Maybe I'll, I'll do some sanding for you on video. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's check it out. I haven't had it out of the box yet. What do we have here? Oh, hey. It's obviously a brush motor. I included extra brushes right there and instructions, which we know I'm not going to read. So, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, hey, there's a belt on it already. So, we'll just go with the one that's on it. There's the bottom. And obviously, you just open that up it contracts and you can put your your belts on and off that's actually pretty nice that seems pretty stout for the price point i finally got the bag on so i'll edit out all that struggling and putting that on to save you guys from watching a minute and a half to two minutes of that let's uh let's check it out a little more so we got a Push button. If you got, if you push the trigger button and push in on this button where my thumb is, that'll lock the sander on. We also have a tension adjuster here on the side. You can see like a little, little bit of marring there, huh? Look at that. I don't like that part. So now that it's all together, I'm gonna take it out to the porch. I'll do a little sanding shot. All right, so here's that Rust-Oleum deck restoration material I want to remove. Let's just see how it works. Man, that, that's going to save me all sorts of time. So not too bad for 27 bucks as long as it holds up for my whole project here. That's it guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share. I'm up in the 40s now for subscribers, that's pretty cool. Um, I never thought I'd even have that just for a hobby. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you later.